Hey, thank you for joining me again for another 3D video in Blender. Today we're going to be modeling a jetpack which your character can use when they're out mining, exploring, and building so that they can move easily uh, around and about the landscape. Hopefully at the end of this video you can take some inspiration and maybe some tips and some of the techniques I use to model your own jetpack. So now let's just go ahead and open up a brand new Blender session and we'll get started. Now the first part that I'm thinking about modeling is the main body, which is what all the other equipment and all the other parts are going to basically mount onto. This will mostly be a bit of padding and some just structure to the jetpack that will be attached to your character's body. This will be simple enough to do where we're going to just start out with the default cube and we're going to be scaling and moving the faces around to give it a more ergonomic shape. I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to model for the main body of the jetpack and it, it changed a bunch while I was doing this but that's totally okay. So the next things that I want to model for the jetpack are going to be the thrusters. Now I'm thinking of having two main jets that are going to be coming out a little bit towards the head and pointing downward and then putting a couple on the back of the jetpack that could possibly point in multiple directions depending on where your character wants to move to. I'll be making these by adding cylinders and manipulating those, and I'm definitely going to be using the mirror modifier to save a ton of time and effort. pretty good so far. So now what I'm going to do is model the fuel tanks for the jetpack and these are kind of going to be nestled in those creases um, right under the top thrusters. This will probably be relatively simple. I'm basically going to add a cube, add some loop cuts to that, and try to make it follow the shape and the lines that I already created with the jetpack. Okay, we're going to finish off the main modeling with something pretty simple. I'm going to model the straps of the jetpack in kind of an X uh, design on the front and meet in the middle with a buckle. And the same for the waist, it's going to be just one strap going across and a buckle in the middle. Like I said, this is going to be really simple. I'm just going to add a cube, make it thin like a, like a seat belt or something, and then kind of just model that uh, by extruding it along kind of a curved path. 
And for the buckles, we're gonna make those out of cubes as well. And maybe do some insets to create some buttons on them like a normal seatbelt would have. model is finally done. This one involved a lot of tweaking along the way because I really didn't know what it was going to look like until it was finished. I thought I had a good idea of what it was but when you're dealing with proportions and adding different components it, things just change along the way. I actually saw a lot of pictures of jetpacks on the internet when I was doing some research to kind of make my own model and I really found a lot of different features that I pick and chose from to kind of make this unique design. So thank you so much for watching, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave those down in a comment. If you got something from this video and like to see more videos in this series, please like and subscribe to the channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video.